Hi, this is Gamer Paulie with my video review of Bound by Flame for the PlayStation 4. Bound by Flame is a fantasy RPG developed by Spider Studio and is currently available on PC, Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 and 4 consoles. At the time of launch there is no Xbox One version. The game is set in the world of Vertiel, which is currently under siege by the seven Ice Lords and their very own army, known as the Dead Army. You play a mercenary known as Vulcan, who is possessed by a demon early on. You can embrace your unique flame powers, become more powerful, giving your soul to the demon, or you can resist the demon, become more heroic, and protect your humanity. Upon starting the game, there is a limited amount of character customization. You can choose either male or female, a choice of looks, which changes if you become more demon, you can also enter your own name if you wish. You encounter many characters and groups along the way. The Freeborn Blades are a mercenary group you'll join up with early on. Their job is to protect the Red Scholars, who are an ancient order of mages, with the task of destroying the Ice Lords and returning Vertiel to a once peaceful world. Bound by Flames is an action RPG at heart, but it can also be quite tactical. If you play the game as a standard dungeon crawler, you probably won't last very long, as the difficulty is very unforgiving, even on the lower settings. At first glance, the game seems like a mixture of Mass Effect, Dragon Age and The Witcher. This jack of all trades never really excels in any one area though, and seems to have bitten off more than it can chew. The storyline didn't grip me, and even though some of the character dialogue can be quite amusing, often crude at times, it doesn't really live up to the quality storytelling of the previously mentioned games. You can recruit companions in the game. They offer you protection, healing and even romance. Your companions will also chat to you along the way. You can ask them questions if you wish to find out more about them. Each companion also has their own optional side quests. Movement in Bound by Flame is similar to the Witcher games. It has hubs or areas that you can travel between. It's not free roam like the Elder Scrolls games. Your character has three individual classes which you can switch on the fly. You can go all out attack with a warrior, you can also block, counter attack and use heavy weapons. The ranger uses daggers, stealth and can dodge. The last of all is the Pyromancer, who uses fire powers. This is the most powerful of the three. If you play as this class most often, you have access to high damaging fire spells, but in turn turn more to the demon side. Your actions and playstyle will affect the story, companions and the outcome, so choose wisely. When it comes to combat, it's a mixed bag. Locking on was a pain, as was using the special attacks. I often found myself hitting a monster I wasn't actually locked onto, or not hitting them at all. You often feel overwhelmed at times, monsters hitting you with melee and long range at the same time. This often led to a quick death and a reload of your save game. I did get used to the combat system after a while. Eventually I was blocking and counter attacking with ease. Crafting in Bound by Flames was actually quite enjoyable. You can spend the resources you find on upgrading your weapons and armour. This will add extra stats like more damage and resistances. You can also upgrade your individual skills when you level up. Graphically the game is an unusual one. It's a kind of a mixture of styles, sometimes quite detailed and well suited to the fantasy RPG, sometimes a bit too cartoony and looking out of place. The PS4 version is the best looking of the bunch, but it did seem more of a HD upgrade of the PS3 version, and it hardly pushes the PlayStation 4. I really enjoyed the music, it's quite emotional at times, and it really suited the game. Voice acting was good, but the sound effects were pretty standard. To sum up Bound by Flame, it may not be an amazing game, but it's not terrible either. It does get better the more you play. You can easily get 20 plus hours out of it if you have the patience, as there are multiple playthroughs and endings. There are no other RPGs on the PlayStation 4 at the moment, not for quite a while anyway. If you're desperate to play an RPG right now, then definitely give it a go. Well, this is Gamer Paulie signing off. I hope you enjoyed the video review. Please check out my YouTube channel for other reviews and guides and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions you may have. Well, I'm off to fight the seven Ice Lords now, so I'll leave you with a little bit more gameplay footage from Bound by Flame. Hope you enjoy it. Bye for now.